I'm going to ask my sister, Martha Karua, allow me to break that protocol so that she can come and make some few remarks. Karibu, Martha. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Honorable Chief Justice, the Speakers of Parliament, Senate and the National Assembly, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Mine is just to appreciate this prayer breakfast, I'm here also representing my principal, the, honor, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. We appreciate this initiative of bringing the nation together. I am not going to say much, just to say we heard your message to the religious leaders. We have heard the words spoken by all the people who have spoken here. And we remember that our Constitution acknowledges the supremacy of God. We remember our national values and principles and how we pray that moving forward, and especially after these prayers, that our actions match our words. How we pray, especially for RAS leaders, even as we compete, we compete with ideas, not insults. <laughs> that we lessen the tension in the nation by the way we treat one another. None of us is perfect. We pray for God's grace and strength so that we can be able to lead the nation to value driven campaigns, value-driven leadership. I just want to remember that somewhere in the Bible, I'm not good in quoting, so don't expect the verse. It is said, prayers without action is not real. So how I pray that our prayers are matched by our actions. I. If we do that, we definitely will have peaceful elections, a peaceful transition, and a nation that stands together. God bless Kenya, God bless us all, and thank you, William, for inviting me to speak.